Praise the Lord. Greetings everyone in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Today's verse for meditation is Philippians 4th chapter and 6th and 7th verses. The Apostle Paul said, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So today we are going to meditate upon thanksgiving, being thankful to the Lord God Almighty in every area of our life, giving thanks to the Lord. And so when we start our prayer, the best way to start our prayer is to give thanks to the Lord in every area of our life. No matter what we pray for, thanksgiving can always go with it. A good habit to develop it is starting all of our prayers with thanksgiving. We have to thank the Lord for everything He has done. And the most important point that we have to remember every day is we have to thank the Lord for giving us the salvation, for giving us His grace to accept His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, as a Lord and Savior. And through His Son, Lord Jesus Christ, He gave us the salvation. We have to thankful to the Lord for that wonderful blessing, the eternal life He gave us through Jesus Christ. And for every little blessings, we have to be thankful to the Lord. Today, I encourage you to examine your life, to pay attention to your thoughts and your words and to see how much thanksgiving we express. Do you murmur and complain about things or are you thankful? So you examine your life today. What is happening with your everyday life? Do you murmur and complain about things in your life or you are being thankful to the Lord? If you want a challenge, just try to get through an entire day without uttering one word of complaint. Don't complain. Take it a challenge that you should not complain in a sing in a in a in a every second. Like I mean, in a day, take it as a challenge that you should not complain or you should not murmur against God, but be thankful to the Lord for everything He has done in your life. Develop an attitude of thanksgiving in every situation, dear brothers and sisters. Just become outrageously thankful and we have to have intimate fellowship with the Lord. We have to have intimate fellowship with the Lord by praying, by giving thanks to the Lord, by worshipping the Lord in, in spirit and in truth and we have to read the Bible every day. We have to read the scriptures, we may have to meditate upon the word and we have to be very thankful to the Lord and we should have intimate fellowship with the Lord in every day of our life. Uh, which gives us the great blessings in our life when we thankful when we are thankful to the lord being thankful to the lord produces peace in our lives peace is one of the most important elements to enjoy your life so philippians 4 chapter 6 and 7 verse says we have to thank the lord in every area of our life once we realize we are struggling with something and feel upset we need to start praying immediately turn the situation over to god thankful he will and be thankful he will provide according to his will and offer us peace you and i are not called to live a life of frustration and struggle jesus came to give us peace according to john 14 chapter 27th verse jesus said jesus is saying in this scripture peace i live with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives you do i give to you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid so Jesus is telling us today once again, I am giving you my peace, my eternal peace, I am giving it to you. Not as the world gives you, do I give it to you, but I am giving it to you, my peace, the eternal peace, uh, which, which gives you the eternal life, eternal joy, I am giving you my peace. Uh, Jesus is reminding us today, do not your heart be troubled, dear brothers and sisters, neither be afraid of anything in your lives. Uh, Submit all your case, all your worries into the hands of the Lord and He will take care of everything and He will give us your, our, His peace and our life will be satisfied with joy, with the blessings of the kingdom of God. So, be thankful to every, to, in everything to the Lord and which gives us peace. And it, the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts, minds through Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is the word that God is speaking to us today. That be, being thankful to the Lord. We have to be thankful to the Lord in every area of our life. And the peace of God will surpass. We surpasses all understanding God's our heart and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord in Jesus name. 
thank you father god for your word in the name of lord jesus christ of nazareth thank you father for everything that you gave us thank you for the salvation that you gave us through the finished work of your son lord jesus christ of nazareth in the name of lord jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you all the glory honor and praise to you thank you for making us as your children lord god almighty then thank you for giving us eternal life through your son lord jesus christ thank you for giving us your son lord jesus christ as a lord and savior as a master as a king as a shepherd as a friend lord father in the name of jesus we thank you father god for giving us your holy spirit uh, for covering and protecting us with the blood of lord jesus christ with your holy spirit father we give you all the glory honor and praise to you holy spirit we submit our lives into your hands uh, we submit our worries cares and everything that is bothering us today into your gracious hands lord god father we receive your peace lord jesus we are receiving your peace which surpasses all understanding and we believe that your peace will guard our hearts uh, and minds through you lord jesus thank you father god for your peace we receive your peace father in the name of lord jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit we submit ourselves into your gracious hands be with us and lead us as a shepherd father we give you all the glory honor and praise to you in the name of lord jesus christ of nazareth father god i pray whoever is listening to this message in jesus name speak to them touch them bless them cover them with the blood of jesus sir. fill them with your holy spirit lord deliver them from every problem from every bondage from every works of satan in the name of jesus let every works of satan be destroyed in the name of lord jesus christ in their lives heal them from every sickness and disease in the name of lord jesus christ by the stripes of lord jesus christ of nazareth father i speak the blood of lord jesus christ of nazareth upon everyone who is listening to this message and upon their families lord i speak salvation father give them your salvation let your grace cover them father in the name of jesus lord save every unsaved souls in jesus name through the finished work of your son lord jesus christ we give you all the glory honor and praise to you thank you father god heal them father heal every heal them from every sickness and disease strengthen them with the power of your holy spirit let the anointing of the holy spirit flow in their bodies in jesus mighty name father we give you all the glory honor and praise to you heal them by the stripes of lord jesus christ let every depression every oppression be destroyed in the name of jesus let the joy of the lord fill them father in the name of jesus fill them with your joy father fill them with your peace cover them father with your peace father with the blood of lord jesus christ cover them with your grace and with your holy spirit father with your word father in the name of lord jesus christ thank you lord god father we give you all the glory honor and praise we believe that you answer our prayers and we receive the answers for our prayers in the name of lord jesus christ we give you all the glory honor and praise to you in the name of lord jesus christ of nazareth we pray father god amen praise the lord god bless you all